slash Dayton here. Hey, I'm at a ballpark here. And uh, thought I'd come swing my coil over here. It's a new ballpark. I've been here a couple times, but check it out. I just pulled out a Merc. 1942. It's hard to focus here. Yeah. That's a 1942 Merc, which is cool. I found some more silver. And, uh, geez, it's going to be dark here in a little bit. I only have a little bit of hunting left to do. So if I find anything, I'll record it, and I'll be back again. Slash Dayton, back again, and not even like three feet from that hole where I just found that 43 Merc. I come over here, I just found a clad penny, and bam, another Merc. Oh man, I hit a hot spot, a silver, man, it's awesome. This one looks like it's a 1926 Merc. A little worn, but that's okay. Man, another silver. That is awesome, two silver in a row. Oh man, I got my large coil out here because, oh uh, yeah, of course, it's a big field. Man, today's been a good day. Hey Slosh Dayton, back again. Hey, I'm over here at this uh, baseball field over here. It's a new spot. And uh, geez, within three targets, I, I, I dug up can slaw like right over there. And I got my friend Jimmy right over there digging something. Was these two, 350. And uh, we just got here, and like within my third target of this little baseball park here, check this out, I think I got a nice ring in a hole. I haven't even taken the dirt out of it yet. Check it out, oh, nice worm. <laughs> oh man, look at that. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's silver, Jimmy. Hey, I'm looking for markings, yeah. Oh yeah, there's the markings there, somewhere. I don't see 925, but I see some markings there. It might be white gold, man. Yeah, I don't know, still dirty. So I'm gonna take it home and clean it. Looks like a woman's ring. Look at that, ain't that awesome, man. Love finding rings. All right, if we find any more, I will record it. Sounds like Jimmy's got something over there. But uh. I'll get back to you. Slash Dayton, back again. Hey, I'm back at this uh, ballpark. I forgot to come here alone this time. Uh, didn't hear from Jimmy. I don't know where he is. But uh, I figured I'd come out here and uh, check out this place because I found two rings over there at one time, two silver rings. And I figured I'd come back and check it out, see if I missed anything and come through here and I was about ready to take off actually because I really didn't get many hits a few clad and stuff and there's my truck up there but <clears throat> so I swing my coil over here and look I haven't even checked it out yet I see another ring baby that looks silver and it looks similar to one I've already found before oh my god it's the same thing I found a ring just like this before wow same exact one too 925 right there Hell yeah. That is weird. I found, this is my second ring and I'll prove it in a, in a picture. That I have two of them like that, except the one that I got where it's so thin on the bottom it broke right there. That is what, cool. How, what are the odds of that? I find two of the same rings. Wicked cool. <laughs> awesome. Silver in the hole, baby. Oh yeah. Of course, found it with my AT Pro. Slash Dayton, back again. Oh my God, I just got another hit right after that silver ring. And check it out. Silver and a whole baby again. Oh my word, 1953 Rosie. Oh, that makes silver. Number 39. I'm almost tying last year's silver. I got 20 last year, and I'm going to get 20 this year. It makes 19 for the year right there. Man, 53 Rosie. My AT Pro, of course. And it rang up like a 84, 83, 84, and it was high too. I knew it was something silver. I thought it was a ring. I was like, wow, man, it was silver, all right. Ah, awesome. Slash Dayton here. You gotta make it quick. But man, I'm still at this freaking ballpark over here. And uh, I got another good hit. And check it out a presidential token. 
It's a <clears throat> Harry Truman presidential token. Ain't that cool? I found one of these Hoovers from Hoover. But uh, yeah, it's a token. It's awesome. Man, I'm ripping it up today with the AT Pro. Slash Dayton back again for another adventure. And uh, man, it's getting dark. But uh, yeah, I'm at this baseball field here and it's actually a new one that I have never been to. And uh, I'd come check it out before dark. I was with Jimmy earlier, but uh, one of my buddies that I go metal detecting with, I, I got him into it. And uh, we didn't find much. Went back to an old spot, an old, another baseball field, not this one, but. And uh, he had things to do, so I had to bring him home. And uh, I figured I'd come here before dark here, because it's not too far from my house. And I've actually never been here, because, uh, I don't know, I never done baseball parks before and some places you're not supposed to even be in baseball parks but I figured I'd come over here I didn't see no trespassing signs or anything so I figured I'd come over here as a little park and over here a little mini park and, and down over there somewhere there's a couple more parks over there another baseball park way down on the other side over there but on the other side of those trees man those trees right there I was way over there and I got a good find over here. I can't believe I found another one of these. But uh, let me just show you what I found when I was with Jimmy. I found this uh, look at that ballet. You can see a ballet foot there. Looks like it was off a charm bracelet, but there is 925 silver right there. But uh, yeah, I've been digging without my gloves, so my hands are kind of dry right now. But uh, man, I thought I could hit a ring, but. It's not a ring, some kind of, looks like part of a faucet maybe, I'm thinking, top of a faucet, I thought it was a ring, man, but it wasn't, oh well, but uh, man, it's getting dark here, so I'm about ready to go home, and uh, this is probably one of the last days out of the year, here, uh, New Year's is just a few days away, and uh, it'll be 2016, so this is my last find of 2015, and I can't believe. <clears throat> I'll show you this other find here first before I show you the good one. But I found this token it's from Boston, Massachusetts. It says Manchester, Mass, or something on there. And, uh,. There's a date of 2006, looks like, I don't know, some kind of token. There's one there. there we go, Boston, Bowl, 2006, Boston, Mass, G, U, Z, something. Looks like action, games, probably a arcade token. Boston, Massachusetts. It's 2006 over there, but then it says, uh, published, 1630, whatever. And, uh, another token, zoo token or something, Zoo America, looks like a flattened penny. There's a buffalo on there, Zoo America, kind of cool. Another token. I get a lot of tokens, but check it out. Silver and the whole baby. I wanted to record it down there, but I had to bring it back to the truck and get my camera. But look at that. Another 1875 Seated Liberty dime. Awesome. Freaking right. This one's in really good condition. Another silver. That makes 21 for the year. 41 for all. But 21 silver coins for the year. I broke tide, my tide from last year, which is pretty cool. Alrighty, man, I'm done for the day. Hey, buddy, happy hunting. Look all my finds and go home. Oh, this is just a magnifying glass that I found in one of my videos. I use it, I bring it with me now and then if I ever need to look at something. But anyway, that's it. Happy hunting. And uh, like I always say, <laughs> I'll be back.